Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft All the Mods 8. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the different tunnels that are part of the Compact Machines mod. Now, tunnels are used to be able to move items, fluid, or energy into or out of a compact machine. And there's different ones depending on what you're trying to move. Now, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. But most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button so that way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. All right. So, uh, because we're messing with compact machines today, first thing we're going to need is a personal shrinking device. Uh, there's, if you make that of those, you need an iron ingot, two eye of ender, a book, and a glass pane. You need one of the compact machines. Uh, we're going to be working with just the tiny one today. That's going to be eight compact machine walls and a copper block. Next, we're going to use the energy tunnel. Now, the energy tunnel is a glowstone dust, ender pearl, redstone, and observer. Now, these, bo these bottom two and the pearl, these three right here, are the same for all the tunnels. It's the upper left that determines the type you make. Next is the Fluid Tunnel, which uses a Bucket, Pearl, Redstone, and Observer. And then an Item Tunnel, which uses a Chest, Pearl, Redstone, and Observer. So not too hard to make, pretty easy to make the different kinds. Now, if you're not sure how to use Compact Machines or you've never used them before, I have done a tutorial showing how they work in general, and I will link that down in the description of this tutorial. So let's go ahead and grab all those components, we're also going to get some of the different pipes from the pipes mod, the pipe wrench that's also from that mod, and we got a chest here and an oak plank in order to test it. Okay. First things first, we're going to put down a compact machine. Now, compact machine is a single block, but inside of that block, it's much larger. You use the personal shrinking device to be able to go inside and out of the chest. So by right-clicking on that, we are now inside. So it was a one by one by one block outside is a three by three by three inside. Now I'm just using a small one for this example. These item tunnels, item tunnel, fluid tunnel, energy tunnel work the same regardless of the size of the compact machine. Okay, so we're going to start by testing the item tunnel. Okay, so let's say that, for example, in this compact machine, we have a chest. Inside that chest is an oak plank. And I want that to move from inside my compact machine to outside my compact machine. This is where we use tunnels. Now, because that's a physical item I'm moving, I will need an item tunnel. And I'm going to basically right-click with that on any block on any wall. doesn't matter which one. I'm going to put it right behind it. Okay? Now, if you'll see that we've looked at that here, right? If we scroll over, you'll see in the upper left-hand corner, it says solid compact machine wall, but for the little compass there, it says up. Now, what that means is on the outside of this compact machine, the item I'm transferring is going to come out the top. It's going to go up. Now, it doesn't matter if I put this on the bottom, the left, the right. doesn't matter where I put it. If it says up, it's going to go up. Now, if I don't want it to go up, I can right-click, which will change it to down. Then north, south, east, or sorry, west, and then east. And then the last one takes it back to up again. So you can right-click to change which direction it's going to exit out of. Now, you cannot have two tunnels going out the same direction. So I can't have two tunnels going up. I can have two tunnels on the same wall. And you'll notice this one went automatically to down because it can't go up. There's already an up one. So if I had something on this one going out here, it would be going down. Okay? So I can then right-click, 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 right -click, and so on and so forth to move it to the one that I want. This is the one we're concerned with right now is our up. Now I'm going to take myself an item pipe. I'm going to connect this chest to that tunnel. Now you'll notice it automatically connected to the side. It's automatically connected to the tunnel that's there. And then I'm going to use my pipe wrench and Shift, right-click with that. So now it is pulling items out of this chest. So you see the item's already missing. It's already pulling into that pipe. So now we're going to exit the compact machine to see where it goes. Okay, and here we are outside. 
So as we know inside, we have our tunnel going up. So I'm going to put another item pipe on the top because it's going to come up out of this box. Use my pipe to pull out the items from that. I'm going to set a chest on top of that. Now, if we right click on the chest, you'll see that the oak plank that was inside is now outside in this chest. So if I have some type of machine or I have some type of automation that I've built or resource factory that's making items, I can use the tunnels to transfer those items outside of the compact machine into the overworld, where I could then have them going into another machine, have them going into another compact machine, uh, some type of comp uh, uh, automation I built out here, or maybe just going into an inventory system like my refined storage or AE storage, whatever you're using. So this will allow you to have a much uh, uh, larger space inside this block making things for you and then pulling those items outside into the real world. Or vice versa. You can have items going into this chest and feeding into the compact machine the exact same way. Now, fluid tunnels and energy tunnels work the exact same way. If I wanted power to go into this compact machine, let's just say I wanted it to go into a different compact machine. I'm going to set this one down over here. right? If I wanted energy, because I have a creative energy battery here, it's producing RF, and I want that to go inside. So what I'm going to need is I would use a energy tunnel on the inside, but I'm going to need to use an energy pipe to connect it, right? You'll see it's not connecting yet because there's no tunnel inside, but I'll go ahead and use my wrench to pull energy from that. Now, when I'm looking at this side of the machine, right, one of the hard parts is to know which direction you're looking at, right? So if you have your mini map up, I have mine off, but we'll pull it, turn it back on just as an example here. Uh, let's see. Put my mini map. So I can tell my mini map that right now I'm looking south. So this is going to be the south side. Right? This will be the south side of this box. So I'm going to go into the compact machine. There we are. And now I'm going to go ahead and pull energy inside. So I'm going to go ahead and take my energy tunnel. I'm going to connect it to the south side. And you'll see it says connected energy pipe. It can see that there's already an energy pipe on the south side ready to connect. And then I can put another energy pipe on this side. Again, using my wrench to make sure it's pulling energy out of that tunnel. And then I can connect any machine I want to that that's compatible with pipes and RF power. And now the power from that energy battery will be coming inside my compact machine and running whatever I have inside of here. And now when we go back out, take a look. It's going to show that it's not connected. It's funky like that. <laughs> but we were connected and the energy is going inside. So, And you don't have to use pipes. Uh, there are other types of pipes and tubes and all sorts of things from different mods, such as mechanism and stuff. There are a lot of different things that are compatible with the energy item and fluid tunnels. Uh, I'm just using these as an example. But that's really all that's needed for the tunnels. Uh, again, you can have up to six tunnels inside of a compact machine, one north, one south, one east, west, one up, and one down. And you can have them all on one wall, you can have them all on the floor, all on the ceiling, anywhere you want, or one on every individual wall. You can have them all put together or separate. It doesn't matter as long as one of them is to each of the different directions. All right. So tunnels are really the, the main thing that you need to make your compact machines viable, to be able to use them uh, to move things in and outside of them that you're producing inside, moving out, or producing outside, moving in for storage. Uh, they're a great way to store a lot of automations into a small lump so they don't take up as much space. Uh, so I highly recommend using them. I think you're going to find the tunnels very helpful uh, for moving those items, energy, or fluids in and outside. All right. Well, that's going to do me for this one. Uh, if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please be sure to put that down in the comments, and I'll do my very best to get back with you as quickly as I can, uh, as well as any recommendations or suggestions you may have for other tutorials you'd like to see in All the Mods 8. I'm always looking for new ideas. 
You can also go to my website, onlydraven.com, and at the bottom of the homepage is a place that you can send me suggestions, questions, or recommendations via email directly. Happy to get them from you that way. While you're at the website, be sure to check out all the different resources available, such as my streaming schedule, the ODG store, links to all my socials, and all that kind of stuff. A lot of great resources there. Highly recommend checking out the site. But that is going to do me for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.